This stop on our coffee journey together is the last. So what I want to know now is how coffee consumer demand has changed over the last decade or so in Israel. On average, Israelis drink three and a half cups of coffee per day. According to the Strauss Coffee Company concerning Israeli statistics, 60% of coffee consumption occurs at home. And it appears that the COVID-19 pandemic changed the trajectory of Israeli coffee habits. People saw that they can have fresh coffee grounded at home. And once you do that, once you, once you experience fresh coffee, real fresh coffee at home, you can never go back. When Starbucks brought specialty drinks to the industry and put each season of the year in a cup all over the world, it didn't catch on in Israel. The U.S. coffee shop giant came and went within three years. The coffee preferred flavors in Israel is quite different from Starbucks uh, uh, coffee aromas and taste. And the second reason is because there was no real new announcement with Starbucks entrance to the market. Not from price point of view, not from coffee flavor or aroma point of view. Not to mention, many places have deep-rooted coffee traditions. Israel's no different. We've had pretty decent espresso bars since the 90s as well, so I think people here feel that the coffee is actually not that bad. So it makes sense that it wouldn't catch on immediately as this movement springs in other places. Roy's coffee shop, Café Beshouk, has been around for over 80 years in Tel Aviv with loyal customers, some of whom, he says, have even stuck with the same blend for 40 to 50 years. But Roy believes the younger generation are more open. Even so, new doesn't always equal instant popularity. He says a nitro coffee was a flop, but cold brew is taking off. People's coffee habits may also have a lot to do with their daily life exposure. It's all about, I think, the cities versus the countryside um, and class and where you work. You'll work in a high tech or in an office, you always have a capsule coffee. Um, or Turkish coffee, or Nest coffee, which is instant coffee. The Israeli population's palate is progressing at its own pace, including the adaption of milk alternatives, as coffee connoisseurs and major companies look to the future. A lot of us dream of one day being able to grow coffee in Israel. Um, the climate's wrong, water, we're not, we don't have enough of that. Ofri says that according to Strauss's market research, Turkish coffee has always been and always will be Israel's top seller. He has other predictions too. The cold coffee in cans or bottles, um, this will continue to explode vastly during the next few years because of Gen Z, Generation Z, uh, um, between ages 16 to 25, uh, preferred their coffee cold, on the go, and sweet. Ofri's final prediction being that the at-home coffee experience will continue to flourish. Hannah Rifkin, I24 News.